That woman is extraordinarily important. <laughs> Are you worn out to a hole? I am not. No, not at all. You're not sleeping even? I am not. I'm wide awake. But what about you? I guess you do look a little sleepy. <laughs> I'm worn out, yes. I'll sleep still. You see why I was right not to let you stay any longer. <laughs> Everything you do is right. It's my little sky, look. Did you see how cheerful Dr. Rank was this evening? Was he? I barely said a word to him. I said a few. But I haven't seen him in such good form in a long time. It's wonderful to be back home. <laughs> to be alone with you. Alone together. I adore you, my beautiful girl. <laughs> Don't watch me like that, Torvald. You're my prized possession. Why shouldn't I watch you? Watch the beautiful girl who's mine. I feel like that. What's the dancing with Tarantella? <laughs> I can feel it. You are more and more desirable. Oh, do you hear? The guests will be leaving soon. Soon the whole house will be quiet. I hope so. It's hard to know my own Laura. Do you know when we're at a party together? When, why I barely say a word to you? shoulders and wrap that beautiful curve of your neck. <laughs> I pretend that you're my bride so young. Young, you've just been married. I'm taking you to my home for the first time. You're trembling, beautiful, young. When I saw you sway and tempt me tonight in that territory, I couldn't stand it. My blood was on fire. That's why I had to take you with me so early. Leave me be, Torvald. I don't want this. Not tonight. Are you teasing me, Laura? What? What? I'm your husband. Who is it? It's me. Dare I come in? Moments. <laughs> How wonderful of you not to stop, not to pass by our door. I thought I heard your voice, and I decided to look in. Ah, these low, familiar rooms. It's so warm and cozy here for you. Oh, yes, you seem quite cozy upstairs as well. Uh, very much so. Why shouldn't I be? Why shouldn't uh, one enjoy everything in this life? Yes, try as much as you can, as long as you can. The wine was splendid. Yes, especially the champagne. You noticed that too? I can barely believe how much I was able to wash down. Torvald drank his first day of champagne tonight as well. Did he? Yes, and he's always in such a good mood afterwards. Well, why shouldn't a man enjoy himself after a long, hard-working day? Hard-working? Yes, well, sadly, I can't claim that. Ah, but I can, you see. Dr. Rick, I think you can carry out some scientific tests today. Speaking of scientific tests. It went well. The best possible result for both the doctor and patient is certainty. Certainty? Absolute certainty. So shouldn't I allow myself a good evening after that? Yes, but, but don't end up suffering for it the morning afterwards. You get nothing for nothing in this life. Dr. Rick, you do the fancy dress parties? I do, as long as there are lots of uh, exotic costumes. You little silly. You're already thinking of the next ball. Why should we be dressed as next? Me too. All right. I'll tell you. You shall be the spirit of Julia. <laughs> now what costume would convey that? Your wife uh, should appear in her everyday clothes. Well, what? What do you want to be?
my dear friend, yes, I have no doubt about that. Well, at the next fancy dress, I shall be invisible. A strange thought. There's this big black hat, and it makes you invisible. Didn't you know that story? You put it on, nobody can see you. Yes. Yes, you're right. But I'm quite forgetting why I came here. Helmer, could you give me uh, one of those cigars, uh, those black Havanas? With pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And so, goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. Sleep well, Dr. Rake. Thank you for your wishes. Wish me the same. You, you insist. Sleep well. He's done a fair amount of drinking. Has he? What are you doing? I have to empty the post box, otherwise there won't be enough room for tomorrow's papers. Do you want to work tonight? You know very well I don't. What's this? Someone's been at the lock. The lock? Yes. I wouldn't have thought the maids, but... It's one of yours, Norm. See, 